Football fans are a lively bunch, turning up weekly to support their team through thick and thin. And while suffering the bad games together can create shockwaves throughout the fans, celebrating the good games together can cause shockwaves throughout the earth. Recently, researchers recorded ground movements equivalent to those of a magnitude 0.3 earthquake during a football match when home fans celebrated a goal. When 30,000 people move their centres of mass by half a metre by jumping up and down to celebrate, a huge amount of energy is released and moves into the ground. It's not just the sound of cheering and clapping. A huge surge of energy like this needs synchronised jumping, and that only occurs when the home team scores a goal. Interestingly, an accurate reading can't be measured at the football ground itself. Instead, recordings must be taken approximately half a kilometre away from the stadium to ensure the readings from the entire crowd are calculated. In order to test this groundbreaking fact, we travelled to Leicester, where Leicester City were playing one of the biggest games in the club's history. Go on, Leicester! 30,000 excited fans entered the stadium to watch the match, and because being too close to the ground would affect our results, we let the fans enjoy the game whilst we set up elsewhere. We needed a location 0.5 kilometers away, which would provide the best chance of detecting the seismic power of the crowd. So we set up a lab in a school the correct distance away. The goal will be going in at the ground, but this is where the full impact of the celebration will be felt. Sensitive seismometers were then set to record ground movements, and any shock waves that register on the seismic scale will be represented as a significant spike in signal. And because we can't be at the match, we brought the match to us. Welcome to today's game between Leicester City and West Ham United. The fans have taken their position, the players are ready. The magnitude of this game really is off the scale. Will celebrating a home goal really generate the same power as an earthquake? It was action straight from kickoff. Well, what a two late comers settling into their seats. First chance, West Ham United! And they have, no, they haven't taken the lead! It bounces off the line, and what a major let off! But is that enough to register anything on our readings? It registered a wobble, but it was no earthquake. Mares, or oh, perpetual movement here from Leicester City. Great move from Conte. Here's the expert in these situations. Vardy scores for Leicester City, which registers one 0 on the stadium scoreboard. But what does that register with seismic activity? And our seismometer picked up a huge ground tremor caused by the fans. In fact, it registered the same power as a magnitude 0.2 earthquake on the Richter scale. West Ham hit back with two goals, and unsurprisingly, neither goal measured an earthquake. But what's this? Has penalty to Leicester City with seconds to go. Unbelievable! We know what it means to the outcome of the Premier League title, but what does it mean when we look at the seismic reading? Surprisingly, this celebration registered a small magnitude 0.1 earthquake. This is because the home goal was a penalty kick, and the home fans were already on their feet expecting the team to score. That said, 30,000 people really can generate the same power as an earthquake. It's 2-2, two, two, two goals for Leicester and two shockwaves sent into the earth.